Hi YouTube, I'm back with dessert. Okay, so I said I was going to make a really simple and quick peach cobbler. So let me show you what I have in my pot. I'm actually about to turn it on. Because of course, I'm standing here and the stove's not on. So I'm going to put this on six. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So the stove is on six, as you can see. In this pot, it's three cans of peaches. Two of those cans still had the juice. One can was strained. We have vanilla, um, a third of a cup of brown sugar, and like three tablespoons of regular sugar. And so I'm going to show you, <coughs> excuse me again, I am using, uh, let's see if we can focus, Watkins Clear Vanilla, and then just the store brown, light brown, light brown sugar. Also. Again, if you're on a low-carb or sugar-free diet, Swerve makes a brown sugar alternative. Um, and I, like I said, I've heard that their products are really, really good. So try that out in place of regular light brown sugar. Use the Swerve brown sugar. Okay, now follow me. In this bowl, we have a cup and a half of flour, um, a stick of butter melted, two eggs, third of a cup of milk, and vanilla, and baking powder. So we're gonna, oh, we're gonna mix the crust. It's a simple crust, kind of like a cake crust, like the, you know, the old fashioned kind of um, topping for um, peach cobbler, you know, with the cake, where you put the cake in the bottom and then it rises to the top. This is kind of what that is. Um, we might need to add more flour to it, but let's see how this goes. I mean, more milk to it, but let's see how it goes. It should mix up really well. Some of it's just the butter. Well, there's an egg that didn't really mix. I know my bowl is moving. It's fine. I have to use one hand for the phone, one hand to mix. But you want it kind of thick because when you pour the peaches, when you pour the peaches in the pan, what you guys are going to realize is this crust is going to act as a thickener for the peaches. That's why I didn't put any flour in the peaches on the stove. Also, um, <clears throat> I didn't put any butter in the peaches like I normally do just because I don't want it to be overly buttery. I just want it to be light and simple. So here is the crust. Um, I'll have to come back on and show you how I set. Well, I'm gonna upload photos to my Facebook page of the assembly, like what it looks like when it's being put together. And then I'm also gonna upload photos of the finished product to this. And I might put the photos of it um, down in the description box. I'll have to figure out how to do that, how to put the photos in. Just so you guys can see what it looks like if i don't put the photos in the description box i will put it in the comments just so you guys can see it and i also want to let you know um i'm baking this on 375 that is because my oven doesn't get hot like a, a good oven it's it's good but it's not that good so i have to put it on a little bit higher to make it get hot and it takes a while to get hot but let me show you that <clears throat> like i said the oven is preheated on 375. If your oven works great, 350. Um, and you're gonna bake it until it's golden brown on the top. Try not to open and close the oven because you want this to cook properly. You don't want it to get flat and look all crazy. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get this all together. And like I said, I will be uploading photos of what it's supposed to look like, both on my Facebook page, Pauline Sweet Treats, and down in the comments or in the description if I can get it in the description. Alright guys, thank you.